This is Gunnel Guard. It's easy to install on the rails of small craft and dinghies. And it's made out of polyester, so unlike the old cotton stuff, it's UV resistant and lasts a long time. And it'll keep your dinghy from getting banged up. You'll get your gunnel guard from CLC, cut to length for specific designs and finished at the ends, or sold in pre-cut lengths with one finished end. For installation, you'll need a couple of spring clamps, a cordless drill with a 1 8 inch drill bit, a cordless drill with a Phillips head bit, number 8 by 3 quarter inch stainless screws with finish washers, about 4 per linear foot of gunnel guard, a tape measure, a pencil, a hot knife, and a tube of marine grade silicone caulk. A nice looking boat deserves a nice looking gunnel guard installation. Here's how to do it right. You'll start at the stern with a finished end of gunnel guard. To avoid a bunched up look, Travis trimmed a bit of the flange off of the end. Note the spring clamps holding the gunnel guard on the rail of the boat. The first screw is hidden beneath the gunnel guard and keeps it from popping off the corner of the transom when bumping up against a dock. Note, we're going to drill and drive all of the screws while fitting the gunnel guard, then remove them to add silicone caulk. A quick way to get rot started is to allow water into all of these fastener holes. Two screws into the transom hold the end of the gunnel guard. Now start working your way forward using spring clamps to hold the gunnel guard tight on the rail. Screws are centered every three inches, alternating one screw on top and one on the bottom. The gunnel guard will lap easily over features such as oarlock risers. The gunnel guard wraps right over the bow. To neaten up the look, a dart is cut in the flange on the top, and some excess flange is cut away on the underside. You might have to cheat the spacing of the screws slightly as you converge on stopping points like the bow. A single screw is driven on the center line at the bow. For looks, make sure the spacing of the screws is the same on both sides.
If you're buying gunnel guard for a CLC design, it's probably been cut and finished to length. In this case, the gunnel guard wasn't finished stitched at the other end. Measure the overhang onto the transom to match the other side of the boat and cut off the excess length. Remove about 2 inches of the foam core. Trim the flange to match the other side. Drive one screw into the transom beneath the gunnel guard. Then drive the last two screws. Don't you dare get that boat wet before you've pulled the screws and bedded them in silicone caulk. A dab of clear marine silicone on each screw is all it takes to inoculate your boat against rot caused by water seeping into each fastener hole. Guard. We stock it at clcboats.com. Great for dinghies and small craft. We have it in pre-cut lengths for all of our boats.